So if you grew up during the era that Disney Channel was really good at all, then you're probably familiar with the name Sky Jackson. She was a pretty popular child actor on Disney Channel for years and years, really. And I guess since her Disney Channel career is pretty much done for now, she's moved over to exposing racists on Twitter, which as we're gonna see later in the video, didn't really work out in her favor whatsoever. I mean, cause I guess Sky Jackson really doesn't understand the power she has or her celebrity status to some extent, because over the past week or two now on Twitter, she's tried to expose maybe 50 to 100 different racist accounts. And there's been multiple situations so far where she'll literally give out somebody's account name and everything, tell everybody that the racist said the n-word something along those lines, and then she later finds out it's the wrong account and that person did nothing wrong. And now you know that person's account's getting reported, they're getting threats in their DMs, just because Sky Jackson is being careless and just not taking any kind of time to do the research. I mean, it's wild to me. We have a grown woman here with 500,000 followers who's like doxing children or giving out a child's account name claiming they did something racist telling everybody to flood their account and then she later finds out that that person did nothing wrong and just uh, oh oopsie you, you know messed up there now before we get into the actual screenshots and everything here i have to specify just like in the gabby Hanna video that this is just criticism of what sky jackson is doing to children here doxing them and stuff i'm not trying to send my viewers to go send her hate or you know leave her rude comments or anything like that i'm not trying to ruin sky Sky Jackson's career with this video or anything crazy like that. I'm just simply criticizing what she's doing and trying to make an entertaining video. And I don't endorse any of my viewers or subscribers going to her, you know, social media accounts and sending any kind of hate messages. That kind of stuff is ridiculous. As we're going to talk about in a minute here, Twitter took down her post where she docks a 13 year old. So she doesn't need like, you know, anybody going under her post harassing her. I mean, I'm sure she already knows that what she did was wrong. So there's no, there's no need for any of that. So on to the actual video now, basically about two weeks ago, Ago now, Sky Jackson started going on this like massive tirade on Twitter where she just started exposing all these different racist accounts, all these different like racist people on Instagram and Snapchat. She was having her fans like send clips of people they knew being racist and she would expose them. It was this whole crazy thing and honestly, I didn't see a problem with it at first in general. Her main goal was kind of to get these people kicked out of their colleges and stuff like that, which honestly, it kind of makes sense. If you're like a racist, horrible person, you, you, you should kind of see that stuff coming when you're posting it on social media. And that whole thing kind of went on for a few days. It seemed completely fine. Nothing too bad was going on there until this one post. Now, as you see, this post is heavily censored, which believe it or not, is all done by me because in this post, Sky Jackson completely doxes a 13 and a 14 year old, which is just the most ridiculous. I mean, she's a grown woman and she's doxing basically middle schoolers. But as you can see here, the tweet from Sky Jackson says, both are upcoming freshmen at this high school. They are both very racist and say the N word consistently. And as you can see there from the first picture attached, this is two kids saying the N word. But there's already a clear problem here, which is the fact that this is a 13 year old and a 14 year old. See, it's different whenever she's doing this to get kids kicked out of their colleges because that's college students. We're talking about, you know, 18 to 20 year olds. But you're literally talking about kids who are in middle school. These kids are on their summer break from eighth grade and, and you're doxing their phone number. As you can see, the third picture attached there is this kid's phone number. She's doxing a 13 year old's phone number for saying the N word. Think about that for a second. I mean, clearly, I don't even think we need to argue the fact that what the kids did was wrong. Like, I think that's pretty like b blatantly obvious there, but there is not a single good reason I can think of for a grown woman, an 18 year old, giving out a 13 year old kid's phone number on the internet to 500,000 people. Now, what's ridiculous about this whole thing too, is it seems like Sky Jackson is kind of trying to be a victim here because earlier she posted on Twitter, I wish social media was more positive. As if she didn't just, you know, leak a 13 year old's phone number on the internet. But I guess that's besides the point. We're just gonna, you know, sweep that under the rug. I guess that one kind of falls under the positivity category. I'm, I don't really understand how that one works. I'm not really connecting the dots here. Now, me and some other commentary YouTubers replied under this tweet, oddly enough. I guess the situation has just caught the attention of the commentary YouTuber community. But Optimus replied to this tweet with, you're not a victim, quit doxing kids. And then he replied a few hours later with the fact that Sky Jackson had blocked him for this reply. Now, another pretty popular YouTuber here, Some Ordinary Gamers, replied, you posted a 13-year-old's number leading to thousands of people to brigade him. Think about that. No, I mean, really think about how dumb that was. Now, as I said, I also replied to Sky Jackson's tweet here, and it did unexpectedly well. I actually almost matched Some Ordinary Gamers' likes here. I think I was like one of the top five most liked replies on this tweet. But my response to this tweet was, you doxed middle schoolers on the same social media that you wish was more positive. And this got one point two 
2,000 likes here. You know, you can't preach, oh, I wish Twitter was more positive. I wish all these social media platforms were more positive. When you're sitting here on these same social media platforms, giving out a middle schooler's phone number to 500,000 people, I don't think that really falls under positivity. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. As a reminder, this video isn't meant to like harass or hate on Sky Jackson in any way. It's just criticism for some of the stuff she's done on Twitter recently. And the video is mainly just meant for entertainment purposes in the first place. But anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.